Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. In today's video, I am going to show you 18 powerful features for Books Palma 2. It's a pocket sized e-ink reader with Android 13. So let's start. The first feature is about sharing text to notes. For example, you are reading a book and you find some interesting information and you want to save that information to your notes. So first of all, you have to make your selection. For example, I want to save this text. So I will start selecting this text. So I will select it till here. Now you can see I have this option of more. So I will select it and then I will select this share option. And here you can see I have this option of Microsoft OneNote. So I will select it and then I will select this save option. So the same text will save to my Microsoft OneNote. Now I will go back from here and then I will open Microsoft OneNote. And here you can see the same text is available with the book title. Now if you want you can also edit this text you can also use pen tool so you can select this plus icon and then from here you can select this option of ink and then you can use your fingers to write anything on this page you can also use this highlighter tool if you want to highlight your text the next thing is you can also use this amazon basic stylus so if you want to write something you can use this pen tool and then you can start writing with this amazon basic stylus on your e-reader you can can download this Microsoft OneNote app through Play Store. The next feature is about sharing image to notes. For example, you are browsing through a website and you find some interesting image and you want to share that image to your notes. So you can just press and hold it like this and then you can select this share image option and then you can select Microsoft OneNote and then you can select save option. So now this image will save to your Microsoft OneNote. Now I will go back from here and then I will open Microsoft OneNote and then I will open this page and here you can see I have the same image available over here. Now I can use it in my notes. The next feature is about PDF annotations. So I will open my library and then I will open this research paper. So this research paper is in PDF format and as you can see it's a long document with a lot of pages but I want to access a specific page. So I will tap in the middle and then I will select this preview option. So it will show you a grid of page thumbnails. Now you can easily view these pages and you can jump to any page. So this will be really helpful helpful for long documents, locate chapters, sections or specific figures. Now for example, I want to open page number 9 so I can easily jump to page number 9 and I can access it. The next thing is you can also do PDF annotations as well. So you have to tap in the middle and then you have to select this reflow option and then from here you have to select this text based version and then you have to press ok. So it will open a text based version for the same PDF file. Now you can do your PDF annotations. So for example, I want to edit this text. So I will start selecting this text. So I will select it till here. Now I will just tap it like this and then it will show you this toolbar. Now you can use different tools. So for example, I want to underline this text. So I will select this underline tool. The next thing is you can also add your annotations as well. So here we have this annotation tool. So I will select it and then you can start adding your annotations and then you can select this update option. Now if you want to access your annotations, so you just have to select these three dots and then it will show you your annotations. You can also use other tools as well. You can also do PDF annotation in note taking apps. For example, I am using this Flexil app and now I can annotate this PDF file using different tools. So for example, I want to write something. I can use this pen tool and I can write on my PDF file. I can also draw shapes. So here we have this shape tool and now I can draw any shape inside this PDF file. I can also use highlighter tool if I want to highlight my text. The next thing is you can also delete or add any page. So you just have to select this page navigation option and then from here you can see you can access all of your pages. Now for example I want to add a new page so I will select this arrow and then here I have this add page option. I can also delete page as well. 
The next feature is about smart button. So on left side, we have this smart button. So if I press and hold it like this, it will open grog and now I can ask about anything. I can also use voice mode as well because this e-reader also has mic. The next thing is instead of grog, you can also use other AI apps. For example, you can use Google Gemini. You can also use Claude. So how to customize this smart button? First of all, you have to go to settings and then from here you can see we have this option of smart button so you can select it and then you can fully customize this smart button the next feature is about books drop screen mirroring so if i bring down this quick panel here you can see we have this option of books drop screen mirroring so i will select it and then i will select start now so it will generate this url and this qr code so now you can access your e-reader through your mobile phone tablet or PC now for example I will use my phone I will turn on my phone camera and then I will scan this QR code so I will scan this QR code and then I will select open in Chrome and now I can access this e-reader through my phone so here you can see if I go back from here you can see over here I can see all my apps so this will be really helpful to present your ideas on bigger screen the next feature is about books drop. So if you want to send or receive any file through this e-reader, you can use books drop option. So I will open books drop and then it will generate this URL and this QR code. Now, for example, I will use my phone camera and then I will scan this QR code. And here you can see I have this option of open in Chrome. So I will select it. Now I can access all of my files through my phone. So these all all files are available inside my e-reader and now I can access them inside my phone. The next thing is, for example, you want to transfer a file from your phone to this e-reader, you can select this option of send to books. So I will select it and then here you have the option of photo library. You also have the option of files and you also have the option for Google Drive. For example, I will select choose files and then from here I will select this PDF file and then I will select open. So here you can see the file is now transferred to my books e-reader. So I will select this option of receive and here you can see the same file is now available inside this e-reader. Now if you want to open it, you can directly open it from here. The next thing is you can also move these files to your phone. So for example, these all files are available inside my e-reader. So for example, I want this file inside my phone. I will select these three dots and here is the option of move and you can also save it. The next feature is about brightness and color temperature. So as you can see, I turn off my room lights and I also turn off the brightness for this e-reader. So this is how it looks like in complete darkness. Now, for example, I want to increase the brightness. So I will just swipe up from right side and then you can see the brightness for this e-reader. So I will set the brightness to maximum. So I will set it to maximum. So this is how it looks like in full brightness but in complete dark room and now i will also set the color temperature to maximum so on left side i will just swipe up like this and i will set the color temperature to maximum so this is how it looks like with maximum color temperature and maximum brightness in dark room now for example if i go to my home screen so i will show you my home screen as well with maximum brightness and maximum color temperature and now I will show you this e-reader in daylight with zero brightness and zero color temperature. So here you can see the result for this e-reader. I will also bring it under the sunlight so you can see the result for the screen. And now I will also turn on my home screen so you can see the result for this e-reader in daylight.
The next feature is about exporting text as an image. For example, you are reading a book and you find some interesting information and you want to save that information as an image. So first of all, you have to make your selection. So for example, I want to save this text. So I will start selecting this text. So I will select it till here. Then I will tap on this selection. It will open this toolbar. And then from here, I will select this share icon. And then here we have this option of generate picture. So I will select it. It will generate a picture with different styles. So you can select any style from here. So you can see we have a lot of options available. So for example, I like this style with this book title, writer name, date and time. So I will select this save option. It will be saved to my gallery and later I can access it and I can share it. The next feature is about AI for reading. For example, I will open my library and then I will open this book. Now I want more information about this text so I can use AI. First of all, I will start selecting my text. So I will select it till here and then I will tap on this selection. It will open this toolbar and then from here I will select this AI. So it will open this AI assistant and then it will automatically add this text inside this prompt section and now you can ask your question and then you can send this prompt so AI will start generating the answer based on that text the next feature is about note taking so you can use apps like Microsoft OneNote Flexil Evernote Notewise and you can download these apps through Play Store. The next thing is this e-reader does not support an active stylus but you can use this basic capacitive stylus from Amazon but there is a noticeable lag. So for example I will open this Notewise app and then I will try to use this stylus. So you can see there is a noticeable lag while I am using this stylus. You can also listen to audiobooks using apps like Audible or Blinklist. You can also use apps like Spotify. You can also scan documents with this 16 megapixel rear camera designed primarily for document digitization. So I already scanned one document and I will show you. So I will open my gallery. So here you can see the result is not really good. So if I try to zoom in and here you can see now I can read the words properly. So this is the result for the scanning using this camera. It also includes a micro SD card slot for expandable storage. So now you can easily add up to two terabyte micro SD to hold more documents, audiobooks and files. You can also play videos on YouTube. So I will open YouTube and then I will play this video. And now you can see the result. So here you can see because of the e-ink screen, it lacks smooth motion. You can also select the app configuration to set the refresh modes. So how to do it? First of all, you have to select this app configuration icon. So I will select it and then from here you can select the refresh modes. So here we have different options. You can go for HD, balanced, fast, ultra fast or regal. So here it will show you all the details how these refresh modes will work. The next feature is about app freeze. So to save the battery life, this e-reader has app freeze function. So sometimes it automatically freeze apps to save the battery life. You can unfreeze these apps as well. So first of all, you have to go to settings and then scroll down. Here you can see we have this option of apps and notifications. So you can select it and then from here you have to select this option of freeze settings. And then here you can manually turn off this freeze feature for specific app but if you want to unfreeze all of these apps you have to select this hamburger icon and then you can select this unfreeze all option you can also use dark theme option for book reading so i will open my library and then i will open this book now i want to apply dark theme so i will select this toolbar and then i will select this theme option and then from here i will apply this dark theme so this is how the dark theme will look like in this e-reader so this e-reader also has a fingerprint scanner built into the power button so you can unlock it quickly and securely. So this is for today's video. Please like this video and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.